I'm standing in Bethnal Green Road in the East End of London. Although it's not very beautiful, I believe that it's a paradigmatic example of urban resilience. We tend to think of the East End as being uniformly poor, but the Booth poverty map made at the end of the 19th century shows that Bethnal Green was in fact an area of mixed economy with large areas of middle class people shown here in red as well as working class people shown in light blue and poor people and the criminal classes shown in black. All of that mixed use was swept aside by the County of London plan of 1944 which intended to impose a rational order across London which had been devastated during the Second World War. The County of London plan intended to replace the, the dense and mixed-use economy of the East End with a highly rational and dispersed economy. Look in particular at the railway line. It was not intended that this should have any other function than transport. For various reasons that didn't happen and nowadays the railway line has been taken over by other industries, in particular the, the taxi industry without which London would simply not function. Contrast that lively scene with the urban blight where the railway line has been demolished and the land left vacant. However, next to the new station on the overground Shoreditch, there is a pop-up park called Box Park, which makes good use of what is, by any standards, prime real estate in the East End of London. Green is also the centre of a global creative industry. Uh, for example, this is a house by the architect David Ajay for an artist, which certainly cost several million pounds. A poverty map of London nowadays would show that Bethnal Green still is an area of mixed economy, with very wealthy people and very poor people living side by side. As such, I think that it's a paradigmatic example of urban resilience.